Alright everyone, I want to welcome you all back to some more Trails from Zero. So we ended up taking care of the Kitty Quest who was located in Geofront Sector A, took care of a boss as well, and even had a one-on-one -on -one bonding moment with Tio, which was pretty cool if anything. So we're going to continue on from there, so I hope you all continue to enjoy. Thank you again for the love and support, and let's do this. Alright everyone, welcome back. Now let's get out of here. Yep, take the elevator up. Now the question is, will we see more of the kitty hacker? Or will this be the last time? Alright, perfect, we're out. Now we're out. おっと。もう夕方か。なんだかんだ言って結構長く潜っていたんだな。そうですね。ティオ、どうしたんだ。なんでもないです。早く夜なのところに戻ってメモリーコーツを受け取りましょう。それにティの正体も気になりますし。そ
当に中傷してるみたいだなそういえばロイドさん記念祭の初日にセシルさんとデートしてましたねえその後もノエルさんたち姉妹と両手に花で楽しく過ごしたとか On that front, we were dragged. なるほど経験者の言葉には重みがありますねそのティオさん何がおっしゃりたいんでしょういえ特に何もメモリークォーツをコネクトこれで一通りの項目にアクセスすることができます結構揃っているな今まで不明なところも多かったルバーチェの情報まとまった形で確認できるのは初めてかもしれないわねそんじゃまあ一通り目を通していくかああ。Oh, we got the whole, huh? Alright, let's start from the beginning. Summary history. Ravash is the largest criminal organization currently operating within Crossbell State. Its inception dates back to roughly 1130 of the Septian calendar, coinciding with the founding of the state itself. As the name of Ravash and Co. would suggest, its fortune was amassed by smuggling goods between the Empire and the Republic under the guise of a trading company. In turn, Ravash was able to seize control of Crossbell's underworld. Currently, Ravash is known to participate in several illegal businesses, including. Arms smuggling, the sale of stolen goods, land speculation, insider trading, mirror laundering, sex rings, intermediary agencies for Jaeger Corps, and so on. Due to its close ties to influential Diet members, Ravash is rarely punished for its criminal offenses. While members may be arrested from time to time, it is common for their bail to be posted almost immediately. しかし改めて見るとやっぱりとんでもないですねああ非合法なビジネスで相当儲けまくってる感じだな All right, we're taking care of sum summary now arms and influence Ravash's main forces total about 300 members including low level workers both inside and outside the state the company employs approximately 500 people in total Ravash's ranks include several former Jaegers and soldiers from neighboring countries. Combined with its smuggling of cutting edge orbital weaponry, Ravash is believed to have considerable military strength. Despite not being a large scale crime syndicate, its influence extends past Crossbell. Ravash holds deep ties with influential figures in both the Empire and the Republic. According to recent intel, Ravash had begun to lose ground to Heiyue, a rival organization, but has since bolstered its firepower by utilizing Warhounds. This new development has led to Ravash regaining superiority. そのまま運用しているみたいですね私たちが捕まえたのも無駄になったというわけですかそうだなちょっと虚しくなるわね Alright, moving on to the good stuff, Don Marconi Marconi controls Crossbell's largest mafia as the current president of Ravash Co. He is the fifth man to hold the position but did not inherit it conventionally. Eight years ago, Marconi gained control by overthrowing the fourth Don in an act of deceit and betrayal. Pretty common amongst these types of stories. Perhaps due to his Erebonian heritage, Marconi prioritizes his relationships with his members of the Diet's Imperial faction. His ties with Speaker Hartman in particular are well documented. On the other hand, he has also made inroads with the Republican faction. Undoubtedly, Marconi seeks to leverage both factions in order to take advantage of Crossbell's unique circumstances. Furthermore, he seems to fashion himself after the Erebonian nobility. His personal tastes include lavish garments and ostentatious furniture. This is a very interesting person. It's a very Alright, 
and of course, Garcia Rossi. Garcia Rossi's official position at Ravash & Co. is General Manager of Sales. Behind the scenes, however, he acts as the Mafia's underboss and is the commander of its rank-and-file henchmen. Rossi previously served as a commanding officer of the Zephyr Jaeger Corps. When Marconi toppled the former Don eight years ago, he contracted Rossi to aid him in his bid for power. Afterward, Marconi recruited him away from the Corps to join Ravash & Co. permanently. Rossi was the architect behind the Mafia's militarization and large increase in strength. In his Jaeger days, Gar Garcia Rossi earned the moniker Killing Bear by using his large frame and advanced military combat prowess to overwhelm enemy soldiers in the battlefield. Makes sense. Seifu キリングベアって名前も何度か耳にしたことがあるぜ。そうか。確かにすごい迫力だったけど。でもやっぱりランディ、そういうのは詳しいんだな。はは。昔噂で聞いたくらいだけどな。All as a member of the Diet, he also acts as the leader of its imperial faction. A descendant of Erebonian nobility, Hartman owns a luxurious mansion located at Michelin in the far southern reaches of Crossbow State. He is also considered an old friend of Marconi, the president of Ravash & Co. It's believed Hartman cooperates in the Mafia's various criminal enterprises, including smuggling, mirror laundering, and so on. Furthermore, sources say that Hartman had an unofficial meeting with the imperial chancellor, Gilliath Osborne, last year in order to demonstrate his domestic and foreign authority. これがハルトマン議長。なんつか、政治家ってより帝国の大規則って感じだな。しかし、あの鉄血最小と会見したってのはマジなのか。ええ、飛行式ではあるけれど、去年の春頃、オズボーン最小がクロスベルを訪れた
Nobles and affluent people from across the continent are extending invitations, making the auction function as an off-the-record gathering of Jamiria's high society. The Schwartz auction is a major source of income for Ravage. It also provides Speaker Hartman with the ideal place to network with influential figures. Security is solely handled by Ravash's forces as well. Entry is prohibited unless a guest possesses a black invitation card engraved with a golden rose. Yeah, we need to get that. Yeah, でもなけりゃこんなもんが表沙汰にならねえわけがねえ。その通りだ。お疲れ様です。やれやれ。まさか自力でそこまでたどり着いちまうとはな。まい、ここじゃなんだ。そっちの部屋で一通り話してやろう
、ほら起きて、もうミーティングの時間よ。あ。あ、おはようエリーどうしてここに<笑>おはようロイドあなたが起きてこないから様子を見に来たのどうせ昨夜はいろいろ考えてて寝つけなかったんでしょ<笑>お見通しかエリーは平気そうだなこの程度でへこたれてたらキリがないものそれに私はどこか気づいていたのかもしれないクロスベルで開かれている秘密の社交界というものが後ろ暗いものである可能性をでも多分自分をごまかして気づかないふりをしていたのかもこれ以上後ろめたい思いや悔しい思いをしたくないためにエリーだから今は悔しさや後ろめたさを素直に受け止めることにしたわ課長の言葉じゃないけどそれが私のバネになると思うからそっかよしエリーがそこまで気持ちを切り替えてるんだったら俺もうじうじしてられないなすぐに着替えるから一回で待っててくれようん分かった朝食の準備もしてあるから食べながらミーティングしましょうああサンキュー前に話した時よりも迷いがなくなったみたいだうん俺も負けてられないな記念祭も4日目今日も忙しくなりそうださてと4日目の業務を始めよう新しい要請が入っていないか念のためチェックしないとなそうね今日は市内でパレードもあるし逆に郊外に足を伸ばしている観光客もちらほら出ているみたいだし紛失物とか迷子とかいろいろと入ってきそうですねまあそのあたりは正直全部は面倒見切れねえけどな。But we're gonna. We're still 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 gonna. It seems they went to a very dangerous area that none of us in the village dare enter, so there's little we can do to locate them. Please hurry to Ash Tree Inn for details. Okay. Serial Theft Investigation. Chief Business Owners Association, 1500 Mira. There is a thief targeting the food stalls at the anniversary festival. We want you to arrest the criminal. Please hurry to the association tent in the Harbor District. I might do this one first. East Crossbell Highway Extermination as per usual. Dangerous monster, Bulby Scissors G has been sighted on East Crossbell Highway. We ask that the special support section deal with this threat swiftly. Items of note, the monster's attacks can blind and hypnotize, so prepare accordingly. Thank you for that. Sleep and blind. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, so these four, got you, okay. All right, first and foremost, I'm super safe. After all, we had like another nice long cutscene over there. So, Harbor District first it is. Uh, hold on a second. Let me check how much... Uh... How much... Five... Oh, I have enough to buy one weapon for one person. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, well... Start small. Here we go. Excuse us, but we're with the Crossbow Police Department. 
would this be the Business Owners Association's tent? We're here to follow up on our support request. Oh, you've arrived. Now this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting you to be the one to come to our aid. A good surprise, I hope. Your request just happened to find its way to us. Are you two already acquainted? Yeah, we happened to sit across from each other on the train to Crossbell the day I started working with you guys. I had no idea that he was the chairman of the Business Owners Association at the time. Just as I was unaware that a young man across from me was poised to become a fine detective. We have a bit of a difficult situation on our hands. Forgive me for adding more to your plate, Triple S, but we need your help. You count us, sir. Let's see. I believe the request mentioned something about a recent theft. Yeah, wasn't there a bunch of them? Y yes, it's as you say. There have been four different reports of theft since yesterday. Every last one of the stalls was robbed clean. The Business Owners Association manages all of the stalls being run during the festival, so we hear every report that comes in. After pulling over them, all the determined that only food stalls are being targeted. We don't have any clues to go off of, so the best thing we can do is to warn the other stalls. That's unfortunate. The vendors already have enough to worry about during the festival. I imagine you are worried about this damage becoming more widespread. Yes, and that's why I've called you all here. It's my duty to ensure that the thief is caught before they can cause any more damage. Not to mention, all this turmoil will no doubt affect the customers who have come to enjoy the festival if it continues. Will you please apprehend the thief for us? I mean, I'm here, right? Understood. This serious predicament will begin investigating immediately. Thank goodness, I already feel a little relieved. I'm counting on all of you. Rest assured, my man, you're in good hands. So, Lloyd, any plans on how to tackle this? We don't have much to go off of here. Hmm. You're right. We don't know nearly enough to try and analyze the situation yet. Excuse me, do you mind telling us which stalls we're targeted? I'd like to speak with the owners. We may be able to get more information from them before we proceed. Ah, I see. That makes sense to me. I've recorded the names down here. May I read them to you? Yes, please. First is Nardo's Burgers in Central Square, followed by Chroma's Juice Stand in the Administrative District. Next, we have the Palette. Paletti Pizza or Palette? Ah, well. In the Entertainment District with Mythos Gelato in the Harbor District where you will be able to get all that. Okay, so four, four stalls in total and they are all in different districts. No clues were left despite there being four victims. Well, let's see what we can dig up from the owners. Will you be on standby? We'll return after we made our rounds. Oh yeah, let me give you my contact information. Don't hesitate to call us if there are any new developments. We don't know when the thief will strike again, so communication is key. Understood. We'll wait for you. We're counting you, everyone. Alright, let's get this bad boy started. Alright, let's start with the stands over here. Excuse me, could we ask you a few questions? We're investigating the recent string of thefts in the area. Oh yeah? Heard about it. If the conniving little thief touches my noodles, the gloves are off. Let's hope it doesn't have to come to that, but while we're on the subject, could you tell us of what the thief look like? Hmm, what they look like, huh? Nope, I haven't got a clue. It'd be near impossible to pick anyone out of these crowds. I know what you mean. Well, regardless, thank you for your time. Alright, so that's Ozel. What about you? Are you the gelato man? Ah, oh, yep you are. Mythos Gelato, huh? A gorgeous girl like her has got my heart melting already. Save the flirting for another time, Randy. We're here for a reason. Let's see what we can find out. Excuse us, ma'am. We're here with the CPD. May we have a moment to ask you about what happened? Of course. You're talking about the theft, right? You managed to pull a fast one on me while I was serving a customer. He struck out while you were busy then. Yeah, I had my hands full serving this laid-back tourist guy that was trying his hardest to hit on me. While I was warding off his persistent advances, I thought I sent someone sneaking around behind me. But it was a little, too little too late. By the time I turned around, the register had already been emptied. I suppose you wouldn't know anything about the thief in that case. I'm afraid not. Ugh, I can't believe I'll let them slip right under my nose. Okay, uh, anyone else? Oh, perfect. Excuse me, could we ask you a few questions? We're investigating the recent string of thefts in the area. Yaki. Oh, yeah, that. Honestly, I'm not too worried over it. My sister and I worked this all together, so the thief would have to get in through both of us. Now, if I was just here by myself, then I'd be concerned. You can't really watch your own back after all. Do you happen to recall anyone acting suspiciously around here? I actually, now that you mention it, I saw some hooligans in red tracksuits come here a little while ago. I'd never seen those guys before, so they kind of put me on edge. 
Nah, those aren't the guys we're looking for. I do not believe those delinquents would resort to stealing. Regardless, do not hesitate to report any issues that they may that they may cause. Sure, we'll do. All right, so that's the people of the Harbor District. I remember. I think I remember them saying something about Central Square. All right. You. Nardo's Burgers. This is one of the food stuff that was robbed. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Wow, my voice cracked right there. <laughs> We're conducting an investigation of the recent thefts. Are you those police officers the guy from the Business Owners Association told me about? Uh, I'm sure you know, but my stall was hit just this morning. Our condolences. Please try to recall what occurred at the time of the incident. Oh, well. The problem with that is that I don't exactly know when I was robbed. What do you mean by that? Well, it might have been when I was busy chatting away with this talkative young man. I think he was an eager tourist who came to enjoy the festival anyway. He, has quite, he was quite the chair box. When I finally got him his order, I swear I heard some rustling behind me. I quickly looked behind me, but there was no one there. Then, after a while, I opened up my register and lo and behold, all my mirror was gone. I see, so it's possible that your mirror was stolen in that moment. That's the only thing I can think of. I have no idea otherwise. So we got two people to worry about. We got the guy that was distracting the owner while the actual robber took while... He was busy talking to his partner. That definitely sounds odd. Alright. There should be another stand here. Yep. Excuse me, but mind if I ask you a few questions? We're conducting an investigation of the recent thefts you see. Oh, that. Someone from the business owner's associate came by earlier to tell me to keep an eye out for anyone shady. They already hit one of the score stalls. So, any ideas? Seen the thief running around or anything like that? I'm sorry, I can't say I have. I've been getting a lot of customers, so I can't spare the energy to look at what's happening on the understands. Ah, I understand. Now that you mention it, you are right in front of the times and near the back alley. Yep. And you're also forgetting that the administrative district is right down there. Most of our customers today came into the city to watch the parade. You certainly seem busy. Alright, we got- Oh, you. Excuse me, but mind if I ask you a few questions? We're conducting an investigation of the recent thefts you see. Arona, you're talking about the stalls that have been robbed all across the city. Well, I don't think our stall has anything to worry about. I mean, I'm right in the middle of Central Square, with this many people walking around, I'm practically untouchable. I do not believe many of the tourists are aware of the cases or keeping an eye out. On the contrary, the likelihood of our thief using the crowd to avoid detection is quite high. Oh please, everything's fine. I can take care of myself just fine. She's hopeless. Boasting about how untouchable you are is practically inviting misfortune. I mean, hey, if she's confident, good on her, right? Alright, the Mishay District is next. I believe there's like one or two stands here. Oh. Speaking of juice. Chroma. Welcome to Chroma's juice stand. Feeling thirsty? Wasn't this the stand that was robbed? Excuse me, would you mind giving us an account of how the robbery went down? In detail, please? Sure, I guess. It all happened when I let my guard down for a second. Ah, my poor sales. Do you recall what the suspect looked like? Not really. I was really busy, so I wasn't able to get a good look at everyone. But there was this slim, carefree younger guy from the looks of it. He was a foreign tourist. He was hitting on me this entire time. Then, as I was in the middle of ejecting him, I heard some sounds behind me and turned to look. Ah, and the thief must have used the opportunity to make their move. I think so. Darn it! I was being so careful too. Our thief is a crafty one. Alright. Next one over is you. Oh. Excuse me, may I borrow a moment of your time? We're currently investigating a chain of thefts in the area. Derek. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think anyone's stupid enough to commit a crime right in front of the CPD headquarters. Okay, maybe I'm a little nervous actually. I heard one of the stalls nearby got targeted by a thief. I think it's safe to say that he's on high alert. It doesn't seem like he knows anything about the culprit, so maybe we should leave him be. I don't know, he's a little nervous though. Alright. Next up. Excuse me, could we ask you a quick question? 
We're investigating the recent string of thefts around the city. Sophie. Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard about the pizzeria over there where it was one of the victims. Heh. Someone like me would never make an amateur mistake like that. Did you get a glimpse at the culprit by any chance? I don't believe so. Although, based on my cunning intuition, I have my suspicion that they'll be com committing a third time, a third crime pretty soon. I'd be willing to bet our culprit is looking for his next victim right about now. S seriously? That's like correction. Four cases of theft have been reported, so the next victim will be the fifth. Alright. Ah, here we go. Right. Palady Pizza is one of the stalls that was robbed. Excuse me, sir, do you have a minute to talk? We're investigating the recent string of thefts. That mess, huh? Jeez, what a day it's been. I got so caught up in dealing with a customer that I let my guard down. Wait, dealing with a customer? Yeah, it was this chatty guy that was hell-bent on ordering a tropical pizza. Judging by my past experience in customers, with customers, I'm willing to bet he was a tourist. Anyway, I got his pizza all nice and packed up and was right in the middle of handling it, handling it over. And then I heard this commotion coming from somewhere behind me. No, I'm positive it was the sound of a register being wrenched open. Damn it, how could this happen to me? I'm sorry for what I'm sorry for what you're going through. Thank you for cooperating in our investigation. Should we wrap up our questioning here? We should be good. Let's head on back and shuffle through all our info. Alright, so back to harbor. Second, I'm super safe. Oh, you're back already. Were you able to find anything? Yeah, we actually managed to gather a lot of information. Why don't we start through it now? Good idea. Take it away, Lloyd. Alright, let's try to piece it together. <clears throat> let's start by going over everything we've learned thus far. Based on what we heard from the stall's owners, the thief was able to steal from them by brandishing a deadly weapon, pretending to be a customer, striking while they, while they were distracted. Striking while they were distracted, yes. Pretty sure they all said they were hit while they were in the middle of dealing with customers. Committing the crime while the owners were busy serving customers to avoid detection. A crafty method, I must say. Yeah, it doesn't matter how cautious you are, if you're too busy to notice. Right, I had heard the same. Does their cowardice know no bounds? No, it does not. Let's not forget their thieving friend managed to hit up four of them in a row. I bet they're off glowing to all their buddies about their big heist right about now. Perhaps, but don't crimes like these normally follow a pattern? Judging from what I've heard, I think I might just have an idea of what it is. Now that we've pieced together all the information, it's clear that the criminal's motive was harassment, financial problems, for their enjoyment. It's pretty obvious it was for their enjoyment. I get the feeling that the thief was doing it for their own enjoyment. Committing a series of crimes in rapid succession leads me to believe that they were not motivated by a lack of Mira. Rather, I believe they were seeking thrills and getting enjoyment out of stealing. It's utterly ridiculous that someone would commit so many thefts for a reason like that. What kind of criminal is responsible for this tomfoolery? Hmm, I think I have an idea of what the criminal might be like. The criminal is... A professional pickpocketer, a youthful duo, a group of bandits. It's most likely a youthful duo. I'm fairly certain it's a pair of younger thieves. How do you figure? There weren't any witnesses. Think about it for a second. Each stall was robbed in the middle of serving a customer. Didn't the descriptions of the customer they served sound eerily similar to one another? From the stalls in the administrative and harbor districts both described them as a carefree sort of flirt. Meanwhile, the stalls in Central Square and the Entertainment District described them as a very chatty, energetic kind of guy. Those were the only profiles recounted by the stall owners at the moment of the theft. It is far too unlikely to be a coincidence. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking our criminals are a pair. I get what you're saying. While one of them garnered the attention of the stall owner, the other went and stole the mirror. Yeah, it makes sense if you assume they were switching off their roles. We absolutely cannot let this continue any further. Please find them before they strike again. Exactly what he said. But how are you gonna find them? The city is packed with people right now. 
It's hopeless, isn't it? The best we can do is alert the shopkeepers keep to stay on guard. I disagree. I think we have enough information on how they operate to devise a countermeasure to stop them from stealing again. Hey guys, where do you think our duo is going to strike next? I think it's safe to exclude any stalls that have already been targeted. Sooner or later, they're going to get caught with their hands in their cookie jar. In the cookie jar. That narrows it down to the stalls that have yet to be burglarized. The question is which? It's a good thing we interviewed some of the shopkeepers that were unscathed too. I'm pretty certain that one that is most likely to be targeted is... Administrative District's Omelette Rice Stall, Sweet Stall, District Ice Cream Stall, Harbor Noodle Stall. I don't believe it's the noodles. Omelette Rice sounds about right too, but I'm assuming we're gonna go with Sweet, so Ice Cream or Central Square. I'm gonna go with Central Square. What about sweet stalls in Central Square? Bleh, Central Square. You can't read. Central Square. Yeah, that's the one I would find most likely too. The administrative district will be filled with officers because of this parade. Entertainment and harbor districts are relatively open areas compared to Central Square. Considering they need to secure an easily accessible escape route, Central Square is the most logical location. Why would they need an escape route? The shopkeepers that were already stolen from are going to be more aware of their surroundings. Even if we got experienced thieves in our hands, they're far more likely to get caught at this point. And they'll need to make a quick getaway if they do. You know, now that you mention it, the burger stall was also located at the intersection between a few of the districts. The sweet stalls in Central Square is within proximity of the back alley and the administrative district. That area decidedly has the highest number of escape routes available, so the thieves are likely to target that stall next. Good thinking, Teal Todd. Since it's come down to this, let's stake it all in the thieves to target him next. The special support section traveled to the designated district to conduct their stakeout. Let's see if we're right. Looks like he's a bust. Oh, that shady looking dude. This customer is pretty young. Just looks like you're around the mill tourist. Uh-oh. Hold your horses, Lloyd. We got another bite. The young man suddenly reached his hand to the food stall's register. That's our cue. Go, go, go. Please freeze! Shh, damn it! Quick, let's scram! Ugh. Madam, Madam was Ellie. Teal Tot, you're up. You do know there's a dead end, right? Game, set, match. C crap! You're all just a bunch of spineless cops. The hell do you think you can do to us? You think you can just walk all over us, the Black Emperors? I'm relieved that we were able to retrieve the mirror, but I must say, these hooligans aren't quite as rough around the edges as I was expecting. You said it, pal. One punch from the downtown delinquents and they'll be crying like a bunch of pansies. Wow, that quieted him down. You think it's possible they really were threatened by them? Wh whoever gets scared by guys like that? You making fun of us or something? We have no trouble taking them on. We have our answer. I see now. They were made fools of, so they resorted to petty crimes as a means of venting their frustration. So that's what it was. They've disrupted the festival, and for what? Some selfish, self-pitying reason? You hooligans made a big mistake. You'd better be ready to answer for your crimes in full. Ugh. What's with this old geezer? That glare is giving me chills. Oh, there you are. You're the special support section, right? Sorry we're late. We're here to take away the thieves. Thanks, sorry for calling you out here during such a busy period. No problem, it's your job after all. Are these two the guys? Yeah, we would escort them to headquarters, please. Right, you can count on us. Hey, move it along. Ho oh, oh, ho, don't push me. Ugh, looks like it's case closed. They didn't look like they were from Crossbell, so I figure they won't be in jail for more than three days. Crossbell's pretty soft in the foreigners, huh? 
Yes, well, the joke's on them. They'll be sitting in jail cells staring at a stone wall while the rest of us are out here enjoying the festival. Not to mention, I had a bit of fun striking fear into their hearts. I must say, your charade was spectacular. They were completely fooled. It comes with experience of being a veteran trader. I'm used to having to put on airs. It's definitely a side of you I've never seen before. I think I put on quite the performance if I do say so myself. Thank you for resolving the issue, everyone. Indeed, we're truly in your debt. Please allow for the business owners associated to present you its most utmost gratitude. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. We're just glad to have solved the case before any more damage was dealt. You know where to find us if you ever run into any other problems. We'd be happy to help. Fine plan indeed. It's comforting to know I'm in good hands. Don't be afraid to reach out to us anytime. Nice. Alright, well, hold on a second. Let's go downtown. I can now buy Randy's new weapon. Or customize it for that matter. And then we will report the quest. I haven't been here in ages, by the way. Alright, hold on a second. Graham Chapa. Yeah, I wish I had more. Alright, heat device. Can we? Woo! Causes burn. Alright. Unfortunately, I got 10 more now. And that's very difficult as it is. Right, let's report this. Gladiator Bell, yeah. Alright guys, this seems like a good stopping point for now. I'm going to end it here for today. So thank you all for watching. When we come back, we're going to settle on the last two. I believe it's two, or at least until we can uh, finally settle on the, the other long quest that we haven't touched upon yet. But until then, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all for watching.